start this class for the organizational behavior. And also don't forget to student letter after after the lesson, you should uh, fill the presentation. Okay. Wait for a while. I want to the uh, share the slide. Yes, we see it. Okay, we're still waiting for the PowerPoint. Uh, student, don't forget, I just want to remind you for the mid test letter, the, the, the task is about uh, the material from Professor Dato Nasir. So you have to really uh, understand about the material. And don't forget letter, of, uh, I will share, if it's possible, I will share the record on the YouTube so you can uh, remind again what kind of the material from Professor Dato Nasir, okay? Okay, you can see the slide. You can see yes. the slide now? Yes, yes, we see it. It's about perception, uh, perception uh, process. Uh, still on the, more on the uh, psychology, okay? Okay, chapter five, eh? chapter five, uh, perceptual process. Uh, okay, after the, uh, after studying this chapter, the student should be able to explain the factor that influence perception. The perceptual more in perception. We live, normally we live in perception. Uh, that is dangerous. We depend on uh, people perception toward us yeah? uh, actually we must uh, avoid uh, perception control us okay uh, second is the after this class you can describe attribution theory what is attribution theory third you'll be able to explain the link between perception and decision making 
perception is the making. You, when you make decision making, you don't depend on the perception. You must depend on the uh, evidence, uh, the point, uh, and then the, your, your focus on the uh, problem before you make decision making. And uh, before you'll be able to contrast the rational model and decision making with bounded rational and intuition. Rationality is rational logic, but intuition is your your gut feeling yeah, in your side. Number five, you can be able to explain how individual differences and organization concerns affect decision making. Uh, we look similar. We have the uh, similar hair, similar skin, you know, similar similar face, but uh, the uh, the uh, actually we have different differences, eh? differences. Um, in the next uh, chapter, we will uh, learn about the diversity. Why? What we need to the. Use the uh, advantage of the diversity, yeah? especially for the working with the uh, multicultural, multicultural uh, employee, where um, almost organization practice the uh, multicultural management. Okay, number six is contrast three ethical decision criteria. And seven describe the three stage of model creativity. Okay. Okay. Perception. What is perception? What is perception? Huh? Perception is a process by which individuals organize and interpret their sensory impression in order to give meaning to the environment. Uh, this is the uh, the from the uh, uh, simple words. How we interpret? How we interpret? Eh? Or interpret uh, our sensory expression in order to give meaning to the environment. For example, when we see what really they look like eh? from our experience, from our perception, we can label them based on our understanding or our, our perception. Yeah? Um, we saw somebody with a very smart, uh, uh, very smart dress, and we, our perception, perception toward him is, uh, he is the, uh, uh, somebody in organization, somebody in organization. But after we, uh, we know that the, the background and we know each other. Uh, he is not the uh, the uh, officers or uh, somebody in organization. Okay? That is wrong uh, perception. Okay, the world as it perceived is the world that is behavioral important. Okay? What we perceive not is truly uh, right. Majority is wrong, right? Until we have the uh, evidence. Okay, what factor influence perception? Perception. Number one is the uh, who is perceiver? Who is perceiver? Uh, the people uh, do the perception, and number two is target, and number three is situation. Situation. Yeah? Okay, percent perception using the attribution theory. Um, under, under attribution theory, it suggests that perceiver try to attribute, try to attribute the observed behavior to type of cause. One internal behavior in belief to be under a personal control of the individual. That number two, external, the person is forced into the behavior by outside event and causes. They make generalization based on the two, two costs. One is internal, where behavior is believed to be under the personal control of individual. And number two is person is forced into behavior by outside event and causes. Okay. 
uh, one exclusive tribute. Tribute is uh, menyumbang. Menyumbang. Menyumbang uh, when they observe uh, tingkah laku seseorang itu. Uh, dia akan kaitkan. Eh? Um, determinant of uh, of the attribution. Perkara yang menentukan uh, attribution ini ada ada tiga. Eh? Ada tiga iaitu distinctiveness. Distinctiveness mean whether an individual display different behavior in different situation. Uh, that is the uniqueness of the acts. Eh? They can they can uh, differentiate uh, differentiate. Uh, display their behavior in different situation. Different situation. Uh, this we can uh, we can check with the uh, military or police when they with the their forces dalam pasukan mereka mereka akan menjadi uh, kalau Indonesia kita kata abri, eh? abri. Abri bila di luar dia menjadi public. Uh, ataupun di, di rumah dia menjadi uh, family members dia tidak boleh uh, berperlakuan seperti di dalam pasukan dalam pasukan untuk uh, keharmonian lah dan nombor tu is uh, consensus 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 mean that everyone who faces a similar situation tujuan Tujuan bersama, that's everyone who paid the same situation, situasi yang sama, resi, this uh, in in kekalan. Uh, Ketekalan, consistency. Does the person respond the same way over time? Uh, itu sama dengan yang yang dalam bagian perception itu. Jadi tiga ini distinctive. Hello, Professor Dato. Oh, I, I think we have another problem with the <coughs> connection with Professor Dato. Yeah, we we think. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I will Professor Dato, I sorry. Will uh, I think there's some uh, problem connection, and the PowerPoint is gone now. <laughs> okay, okay. No problem. Okay, you can see that. Okay, yeah. yes, we yes. continue. Okay. Um, attribution theory. Um, this is uh, number one is the observation and interpretation. Observation and interpretation. When we observe, for sure, we have the uh, next action is interpretation. Interpretation. Eh? And then followed by the attribution of cause. Attribution of cause. What is the uh, uh, factor attribute, huh? factor attribute, huh? attribute by the three factors: distinctiveness, consensus, and consistency. Okay. Okay. Individual behaviors. We look. Uh, we look at the three uh, attribution: distinctiveness, um, the condition is high when we involve 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 any uh, external when we involve. Uh, and internal, uh, we in lower situation, distinctiveness. We we'll go back to the uh, previous uh, determinant attribution, whether an individual display different behavior in different situation, eh? situation. Okay. And then under consensus, consensus, persetujuan sama, ramai, eh? uh, very high. 
very high external. For sure, we need the uh, external uh, information eh? very high eh? and low internal. Uh, when we make consensus, consistency, uh, ketekalan, eh? uh, consistency, ketekalan, maknanya, does the person respond the same way over time? Over time. Uh, this is a high internal. High internal. That is uh, fall under the uh, uh, person itself. Uh, and then low in uh, external. Uh, never, uh, nobody can uh, can change eh, except the uh, person itself. Uh, this is attribution error and bias. Oh, I'm sorry, Professor Dato. The slide is still frozen in the first slide. Yeah. Slide-nya masih belum berubah, masih di halaman oh. pertama, Prof. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. I cuba lagi ya. Okay, nampak ya? Iya, nampak masih di halaman satu di slide satu. Masih di sini. Iya, masih di slide satu. Tapi saya sudah move kan? Oh, berarti uh, untuk yang teman-teman, apakah di tempatnya Miss Kusnu aja atau masih di slide satu? Masih di slide, masih satu. Di slide satu, Miss. Oh, I think it's about connection, Professor Dato. Aduh. Uh, or should I help you to share screen and then you can share the the material to this chat? I will help you to share screen. Uh, just no dapat. Bisa, bisa. Jadi bisa. dikirim saja ke chat atau ke WhatsApp saya, Prof. Nanti saya share screen. Boleh WhatsApp email tak? Just no WhatsApp email. Uh. Yes, I already sent the message on the WhatsApp this morning to your number. Or maybe to my email, I will share it. Usnu at unye.ag.id. This is my email, Prof. On the chat room. The ability ability to see to see to hear or become aware of something through a sense the sense our sense we have the six sense yeah? six sense yeah? the way in which uh, something is regarded we understood or interpret or interpret eh? uh, because of uh, some time a theory is very difficult to understand I make it uh, easy to you to understand what this perception. Uh, this perception is the uh, result of perceiving. How you perceive. How you perceive. Uh, perceive using the observation. Pemerhatian, observation. Uh, a mental image. Uh, bila kita observe, kita rakam di dalam mental kita, mental image. And uh, produce the concept. Uh, the concept is absolute two absolute uh, uh, factor influence number one is consciousness maknanya tahap kesedaran consciousness kesedaran kita uh, and then followed by the awareness the awareness of element of environment through physical sensation uh, um, and then uh, next is physical sensation interpreted by the uh, Past experience, past experience, eh? 
uh, for example for example to make a uh, student uh, understand i give example uh, upon walking walking kita berjalan walking into the kitchen and smelling a, a, a skin of baking uh, cinnamon roll the sensation is the scan receptor uh, detecting the order of the uh, cinnamon you know cinnamon kan uh, but the perception may be um this smells like the bread grandma used to bake when the family gather for for holiday jadi kita buat andaian bahawa bau itu sama dengan bau yang uh, nenek kita buat roti ya eh? roti eh? um, the, uh, what are the four type perception eh? type perception the question for for cognitive psychologist eh? ah, ini bidang uh, miss chusno ni eh? uh, psychologist eh? kalau di sana panggil psikolog eh? uh, the question of cognitive psychologist is how we manage uh, to to accomplish this uh, feat to repeatedly usually without error okay. uh, the, the the vast the vast uh, topic of, for, of perception can be subdivided into visual perception pandangan eh? persepsi melalui pandangan video perception auditory perception melalui uh, pendengaran eh? Uh, all factory perception uh, ataupun hectic touch uh, melalui uh, rasa eh? and then the uh, gas gustatory perception uh, melalui uh, lidah atau begitu ya eh? uh, jadi jadi uh, uh, kita tanya what is your perception in life apa pandangan kita kepada uh, kehidupan kita perception eh? Uh, perception is merely a lens or mindset from which we view people. Macam mana kita melihat orang? We view people, we view event, uh, menilai, uh, memerhatikan event and things, perkara. In other words, we believe what we perceive to be accurate. Uh, apa yang kita lihat itu semestinya tepat. Lah. Accurate. Eh? And we create our own realities based on those perceptions. So for the next, we we record already, we understand already. Uh, we our perception is consistent and consistent. Okay? And uh, although our perception feel very real, that doesn't mean they are necessary factual factual. Um, dalam kata lain, eh? dalam kata lain, uh, what's another word of perception? Hmm? Perception we using the. Uh, a word from the uh, English yeah? perception. Uh, some common synonym of perception are uh, discrimination, insight, penetration, acumen, uh, dis discernment. Uh, yeah? uh, ini ini ini. Uh, bagaimana kita nak kaitkan dengan human behavior? Tingkah laku. Eh? Uh, what is perception in human behavior? Uh, our behavior is not only function of our personality, value, and preference, but also of situation. We interpret our environment, formulate response, and act accordingly. Perception may be defined as the process which individual detect and interpret environment stimuli. Rasangan, rasangan, gitu ya. Uh, this is uh, attribution theory. Uh, boleh besarkan tak? Enlargekan sikit. Uh, macam kecil. Ya. Boleh dibesarkan. Ya. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, thank you. Attribution error and biases. The fundamental attribution error mean tendency to underestimate the influence of external factors and overestimate of internal factors. That means we we more uh, um, don't use the influence from external, our tendency. And we use more from our internal factors. Inter internal factors in our body, in our in our psychology, in our observation, in our feeling. Eh? 
Uh, that is the fundamental attribution error where tendency to under, under, uh, underestimate the influence of external factors. Uh, whatever uh, information from, our, from outside, we deny. We only use more or overestimate the information from ourselves, from internal. Yeah. Self serving bias. Uh, this is uh, always uh, practiced by the uh, people, but they don't know. This is self serving bias. Uh, occur when individuals overestimate their own internal influence on success and overestimate the external influence on their failure. On their failure. The basic process of attribute apply across culture, but Western culture tend to be more individual while Asian culture is more group oriented. Self serving bias. Self serving bias means when we uh, uh, when we uh, have the uh, something wrong, or we did something wrong, eh? we must uh, excuse. We must find the excuse eh? because of we overestimate uh, our internal eh? excuse. Uh, not uh, uh, we we not respect the uh, external influence on the failure. We also, or, or always uh, use as a self-serving bias. Self-serving bias. Kalau kita gagal dalam perbezaan, kita tak kata kita lemah. Kita kata faktor-faktor uh, lain yang menyebabkan kita gagal. Okay, next. A shortcut used in judging others, uh, a selective perception. Uh, dalam uh, membuat perception, we uh, we very selective. A perceptual filtering process based on interest. Uh, if got interest, we focus on the perception. And then uh, the our perception is true uh, based on background and based on attitude. Uh, that the, our selection based on three three things, interest, background, and attitude. And then uh, another is uh, the uh, halo effect. Halo effects always use in management and management, organization management, uh, draw, drawing a general impression based on a single characteristic. Uh, single characteristic, we follow. We follow the previous, the previous uh, incident and drawing a general impression based on a single characteristic. And then number three, contrast effect. Our reaction is influenced by others we have recently encountered. The context of observation. Eh? Our reaction influenced by others, not truly by, by us. Eh? And then uh, this is always happen eh? through typing. Through typing. When uh, people uh, do the judging, Judging a judgment, judging someone on basis of the perception of the group to which they belong, to which they belong. Right? Jadi kita melabelkan seseorang itu berdasarkan kepada uh, perception orang lain juga lah. So typing, kan? misalnya kita kata uh, satu kumpulan atau satu bangsa itu malas. Jadi, the, the perception kita, kita akan stereotype kan, kumpulan itu malas lah. Uh, malas. Uh, similar with the uh, people in Malaysia, they, they always make stereotyping on the one of the uh, uh, suku kaum eh, from Indonesia. Uh, the suku kaum is the uh, Jawa. Jawa. So, the yeah, stereotyping is Jawa is the, the Rajin. Uh, Jawa is origin. Eh? So, they are going to um, do stereotyping. Lah. Stereotyping. Uh, walhal tidak semua Jawa itu uh, origin. Ada juga yang tak origin. Eh? Okay, next. The link between perception and decision making. Every day, every time, uh, in every situation, people make decision making. Decision making occur as a reaction to the perceived problem. When they got problem, they must make decision making. Don't make decision making also uh, is one of the decision making. Uh, 
Uh, normally, they make the same baking based on the problem, problem occur or, or when they have problem. Reception influences awareness that a problem exists. Kesedaran tentang wujudnya itu masalah. The interpretation and evaluation of information. How the interpretation interpret? Uh, how the evaluation the information regarding to the problem? The bias of analysis and, and conclusion. We must uh, avoid to buy analysis before make the conclusion. Okay. Next. A rational decision making model. Uh, this is one uh, gender model, family model, rational decision making model. Number one, they must define the problem. What is the real problem? What is the real problem? Uh, uh, consider as problem or not. Number two, identify decision criteria. Decision criteria. How, uh, what criteria we will you use to make decision? Number three, allocate weight to the criteria. So every criteria, they put the weight. Yeah. Number four, develop alternative. Uh, based on the uh, uh, number one, number two, number three, they develop alternative. Alternative one, two, three, four, uh, 1A, 1B, 1C, 2A, 2B, 2C, something like that. And number five, number five is evaluate alternative. To develop the evaluate which alternative is uh, considered as uh, the best alternative and go to number six select the best alternative and this model is seldom actually used uh, this model is seldom actually used it is more a goal than practical method, practical method. okay next The bounded rationality. Uh, the bounded rationality is the limited information process capability of human being make it possible to assimilate, understand all the information necessary to uh, optimize. Where people seek solutions that are satisfactory and sufficient rather than optimal. Optimal may they uh, satisfy. Yeah? Uh, that means uh, people seek solution that are satisfactory and sufficient, and not satisfied, sufficient. And bonded rationality is constructing simplified model that extract the essential features from problem without capturing uh, all their complexities. Next. Um, decision making in bounded rationality. Membuat keputusan dalam keadaan bounded rationality. Ya. Uh, simpler than rational decision making. Daripada yang pertama, rational. Ya. Decision making under bounded rationality is composed of three steps. Step one, limited search for criteria and alternative. Uh, familiar criteria and easily found alternative. And then step number two, limited review of alternative. Focus on alternatives similar to those already in fact and effect. And then number three, step number three, satisfying, selecting the first alternative is the good enough. Very simple, right? Very simple. Uh, simple than the uh, rational decision making. The limit to three. Simple decision making and simple rational decision making have the five steps. Okay, next. Uh, this is intuitive decision making uh, by the gut feeling. Eh? Uh, a non conscious process created out of distilled experience. It's an increase with experience can be powerful complement to rational analysis and decision making. Intuitive uh, by, by intuition. intuition. Uh, yang ini uh, rasa hati kadang-kadangnya tepat tepat nak buat besok experience ok uh, kalau tak ada besok experience tu difficult to use intuitive decision making okay? decision making next 
a common bias and error, overconfident bias, as manager and employee become more knowledgeable about an issue, the less likely they are to display overconfident. Okay. Overconfident bias. Terlampau yakin. Terlampau yakin. Jadi, uh, dia akan rasa overconfident. This overconfident is dangerous. Very dangerous. No? Not uh, all. Uh, they can solve uh, if they have the overconfidence. Uh, anchoring bias, a tendency to fix on initial information, fix, uh, fix uh, initial information, and fail to adequately adjust for subsequent information. Uh, dia bergantung kepada satu uh, maklumat yang yang apa? Yang dirasakan tepat. Uh, dia tidak menggunakan uh, maklumat kesuruhan. Uh, anchor bias. And confirmation bias, seeking out information that reaffirm our past choice. Uh, jadi dia ada pengalaman lepas, uh, dia dapatkan maklumat untuk uh, reaffirm, uh, reaffirm uh, our past choice untuk mengatakan bahawa pilihan yang yang lepas itu adalah satu pilihan yang terbaik. And discounting information and contradict just past judgment. Jadi tidak mengambil kira maklumat-maklumat yang lain ni, eh? yang lain. Confirmation bias. And then uh, yang keempat adalah availability bias. This is basing judgment on readily available information. Okay. Daripada informasi-informasi yang ada itu, dia belas pertimbangkan berdasarkan kepada informasi-informasi yang, yang ada. Okay. Uh, basing judgment on readily available information. Okay, next. Uh, more bias and error. Konsep-konsep eh? uh, ini perlu uh, supaya kita um, apa itu memahami tingkah laku seseorang itu dengan betul. Eh? Dengan betul. Uh, jadi konsep ini. Uh, kadang-kadang uh, memang sukar very difficult to understand eh? tapi that is basic basic for the uh, understanding the personality uh, and the uh, motivation or other uh, aspect in organizational uh, behavior behavior eh? randomness error uh, that is our tendency to believe we can predict the outcome of the random event jadi random error. Okay. Kita boleh apa itu kecerungan eh, untuk mengucayai kita boleh uh, meramal the outcome of random event, event-event tertentu. Escalation of commitment, uh, staying with decision even when there is clear evidence that that is wrong. Jadi masih lagi ya, eh, masih stay with decision uh, when there is clear kita kita dah tahu itu salah, tapi masih lagi kita tidak uh, mengatakan dia salah. Staying with the decision even when there is a clear evidence that is, is wrong. Right? Kita masih mau menggunakannya. Itu kata escalation. Escalation ni macam escalator lah. Dia bergerak, dia berjalan terus saja. Masih lagi tak decide lagi. Tak membuat keputusan. Risk aversion. Preferring a sure thing over the risky outcome. Eh? And then uh, uh, hindsight bias, uh, believing false, false, uh, falsely that we could have predict the outcome of the event after the outcome already known. Kita yakin, eh? yakin uh, mempercayai false, falsely that we could have predict uh, the outcome event after outcome is already uh, already known. Okay, next. Next, this room. Okay. This is uh, a clear, uh, clear individual different on decision making. Uh, influenced by the personality, by the gender, by the general mental ability, by the cultural differences, and uh, nothing. We we go one by one. Personality, personality. 
Uh, what is personality? Personality in 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 uh, in uh, uh, everybody and person got the uh, each ego and super ego. Everybody must have ego. Huh? And then we must super ego. But you, you don't, we don't, we don't have uh, better, we don't have more it. It ni yang, yang jahat, yang nakal. Ego tu kena ada. Super ego tu pun kena ada juga kadang-kadang. Okay, next. Organizational constraint on decision making. Uh, we look at the performance evaluation. Performance evaluation. When we, uh, when we, uh, uh, have the performance management um, to measure the performance of the employee okay? uh, that we call the performance evaluation. What aspect we evaluate for our subordinate? For our subordinate, okay? uh, everybody must know what are the bosses evaluate, what item. Uh, but the bosses evaluate them. They must clear because of uh, the, the subordinate or employee must uh, focus on the uh, uh, performance uh, where they will uh, evaluate. They will, they will evaluate. Eh? Kalau tidak, dia tidak tahu eh, apakah bidang-bidang uh, perkara-perkara yang dinilai dalam prestasi atau kerja prestasi ya. Yeah. And then if their performance is good uh, achieve KPI key performance indicator uh, for sure they have uh, reward yeah? have their reward. That's why the organization must have the reward system. What is reward system? Uh, in in the management number one they must have the work system. Work system. Work system mean how you work, how you work, huh? and then start with the um, human resource, uh, we call it uh, recruitment, recruitment system, recruitment system. In recruitment system, we employ uh, somebody because of we assume uh, they as Mr. Right or Miss Right. That's why we choose them, we appoint them. We appoint them. Mr. or Miss Right put in in right place in the right time. Okay? Because of somebody, uh, everybody not uh, cannot choose, they want to say at the one uh, department only. Their higher authority, their higher management, when they see the performance, they will uh, give the reward and give the promotion and move to the other place. Or before move to the place, maybe they want to, to uh, transfer to the other uh, department to gain any experience and then to confirm uh, that uh, staff can get the uh, truly promotion. Uh, if they don't uh, achieve uh, KPI, uh, there is the uh, sanction or there is the punishment there. Maybe they they cannot get the reward, cannot the increases of the salary, or cannot get the bonuses. And that's why uh, in the performance evaluation, uh, the employee must know very well, very well. Right? If they don't know very well, when time uh, other people get the uh, reward, they don't get reward. Uh, they will they will react something. Maybe they they uh, angry and they uh, uh, do the other aspect for the in, in behavioral uh, organization behavioral. Uh, that means they slow in their work. Right? The sabotaging eh? or the work to the rule eh? and they don't come to the to the workstation eh? 
always uh, thinking MCs or something like that. Hence, yeah? performance pressure. The reward system, uh, they have uh, so many reward system. Uh, uh, negotiate with the uh, uh, any trade union. Well, because the trade union is the uh, um, the uh, recognized recognize body by the uh, employer to make negotiation in terms of the reward system, uh, also uh, working system, uh, uh, service scheme with the uh, management yeah. and then your system normally briefed by the uh, management to the human resource uh, they explain uh, what is a reward uh, you can get if you perform well or achieve KPI and expectation. the next is formal regulation uh, this is formal regulation uh, do and don't uh, in organization must be uh, uh, know by the all members of organization as a formal regulation and uh, without fail uh, without fail because of the uh, management side will charge you if you don't follow the uh, uh, formal regulation okay next is system imposed uh, time constraint and when when the uh, uh, during the time constraint uh, uh, for example, during the COVID, during COVID-19, uh, not everybody allow to go to workplace. Okay? Uh, they must work from home. They want work from home. And then you, uh, the workers must do the job uh, from the home. Uh, they must report, report through the uh, email or computer report um, if they don't don't do that eh? they do that uh, they will uh, they will punish they will punish that the system imposed cause of uh, the uh, uncontrolled uh, uncontrolled cause of lockdown they cannot uh, going to the office but the the job still going on going on eh? going on the next is historical precedent. Uh, that means the, uh, the precedent before set by the management, eh, they must follow. They must follow. If they don't have uh, precedent, uh, that is difficult. Normally, they have precedent already. Precedent already. Maknanya ada case contoh. Ada case contoh yang terdahulu yang perlu mereka ikuti. Uh, kalau tak ada kes contoh yang perlu diikuti uh, masalah dia kena cari apa uh, evidence evidence untuk uh, membuat keputusan uh, jadi kelima-lima ini ya organis adalah organisasi konstrain dalam membuat keputusan membuat keputusan dia berpegang kepada kelima-lima uh, perkara ini iaitu performance evaluation, reward system, formal regulation, system imposed in time constraint, and, and uh, historical precedent. Uh, number four ini, number four biasanya dia ada circulation. Uh, number four, number five, uh, number three pun ada circulation, pergeliling, dia pergelilingkan, dia maklumat. Uh, empat, uh, satu, dua, tiga, empat, yang tak ada historical precedent, tapi boleh dicari lah. Uh, dia peristiwa atau pengalaman yang depan. Next. Sure. Uh, ethical framework for the decision making. Ethical framework. Eh? Rangka kerja ethical. Kadang-kadang framework ni orang boleh kira rangka kerja ataupun kerangka kerja dia berbeza kalau rangka kerja lain kerangka kerja lain uh, ethical framework for decision making number one utilitarianism this will provide greatest good for the great numbers utilitarian maknanya satu satu pihak saja eh? provide greatest good for greatest number number two using right 
make decision uh, consistent with fundamental liberty and privilege. The second kepada hak 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 hak. Eh? The number three is justice, keadilan, justice and impose and impose rule fairly and impartially so that there is equal distribution of benefit and cost. Uh, this is justice. Eh? Uh, justice distribution, distribution of justice. Maknanya semua yang akan dapat sama, benefit sama, uh, equal, equally. Uh, jadi ini uh, harus diikuti uh, semasa uh, membuat keputusan uh, bawah di bawah uh, rangka etika, etika. Eh? Uh, kalau tidak dia akan ada masalah dalam keputusan ini lah. Okay, next. Uh, behavior ethic. Ethic uh, tingkah laku. Analyze how people actually behave when confronted with ethical dilemma. Uh, when we when they facing the uh, uh, misconduct, misconduct mean they don't conduct uh, properly in organization. Tingkah laku melanggar tingkah laku dia pelanggaran melaku pelanggaran ni. Ya? Ethic. Uh, they can ethics, can ethics. ethics. Yeah? Uh, in very ethics, analyze how people actually behave. Bagaimana they behave when confronted with ethical dilemma? They want to follow or not? Normally, they must follow because of informed already. Uh, what is their conduct? They truly conduct. If you don't follow the conduct, they will call misconduct. Uh, melanggar, tatal uh, tip atau salah langsung. Yeah, but the good thing about ethics. Next, uh, this is creativity in organization. Yeah. Uh, every every people, every person have the uh, ability to creative, creative yeah. because of uh, creative people have the high price in the organization. Yeah. The ability to produce Nobel, Nobel and useful ideas. They throw, they, they consider as the uh, good thinker, good thinker. And uh, when we come to a certain extent, they will label as the higher level thinker. That means they think, they think creatively, creatively, and yeah, then throw the ideas. Uh, not the uh, majority of the people or employee. They only at the lower level, lower level thinker. They don't argue. They don't think about others. They don't think about the uh, improvement, continual improvement. Eh? They in uh, a situation, lower situation, as a acceptance. We consider acceptance. They accept only all the instruction from the uh, higher authority or higher management without question. Without question. That uh, better they, they in the increase to the higher level thinker and uh, help people help people uh, see problem other can see uh, see problem other can other can see kita melihat masalah orang yang mereka tidak boleh lihat untuk membantu manusia then better understand the problem uh, we know better the problem. And next, identify all viable alternative. Uh, what is the the uh, viable alternative? And then identify alternative they are not readily apparent, and that is need the uh, creativity. That is need creativity. If the easily that is very uh, common, that is not creative. Creative, they use creative to the help people. In the poor situation, see problem others can cannot see. Uh, better understand the problem, identify all viable alternatives, and identify uh, alternatives that are not readily available. This is they use their 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 neuron, the neuron in their brain. The more you think, the more your brain produces neuron. Neuron is the energy. This is the potential of the you have the very good thinking, very good uh, creativity. Yeah. That's why 
the student don't 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 uh, relax uh, don't ever think you must think you must think every day and you use your brain but so many uh, people majority people don't use their brain they only uh, accept only receive uh, all information without question uh, they don't they don't become the healthy uh, people, healthy uh, subordinate, healthy workers. They must think about the uh, everything come from outside. Right? And the creativity. Creativity needs in organization, in business, idea and creativity. Who have the very high creativity, they will pay more than people don't have or lack of the creativity. Uh, that is the uh, the uh, um, lack of people have the creativity. Okay. Next is three stage model of creativity. Process of creative behavior, process of creative behavior, eh? the creative potential, back, uh, creative potential, creative environment. Okay. That's the potential creative environment. Okay. Uh, from the thought uh, of creative behavior, the blended of creative environment and potential, they become a creative behavior. Okay. Uh, they start with problem formulation. Okay. From problem formulation, they, they identify the problem and getting information from the uh, information gathering. Try to gathering information. And then uh, from the information gathering, they produce the idea, idea generation. And from that, they will uh, evaluate, evaluate, evaluate. That be a, a, a process. Eh? Uh, problem formulation, information gathering, uh, idea generation, and idea evaluation. And then they come to creative outcome, innovation. The novelty. Novelty means very good very good uh, creative uh, if they uh, in the uh, production they they, they will uh, give the, the idea to produce something new something new uh, but not creating new but innovate innovate they may innovate they can uh, produce something different from the original original product Right? to uh, satisfy the customer. Why? Because the customer need more than uh, production uh, give them. Right? And then usefulness. Uh, everybody can use that. Usefulness. Next. This is creative behavior. There are four steps. Huh? Step number one is the problem formulation. Uh, identify problem or opportunity that require a solution as yet unknown. Problem formation. And this is uh, very sometimes very difficult to choose. That is a problem to identify the problem, especially when they uh, uh, don't know how to to determine what is a problem. Uh, identify the problem. Sometimes they will say, my problem is cannot identify the problem. I have no problem because I cannot understand what the problem is. The problem is very important. Before we solve the, 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 the problem, we must determine the problem, identify the problem. That is the real problem or not. Uh, for example, in organization because of the uh, uh, subordinate cannot achieve kpi why either uh, they not achieve kpi because of lack of training lack of skill or because of need a new machine if the uh, uh, the uh, discrepancy or the uh, um, gap a performance because of the machine we only buy the machine 
do need training. But if involve skill, uh, the game because of skill, lack of skill uh, to do the job, the organization must provide training for them, for example. Then after they provide training, they will measure again. Are um, the training soft? the uh, gap of the performance or not. Eh? Uh, the problem now is a uh, very tough uh, task is a uh, problem formulation. How to identify a problem uh, or opportunity that requires a solution as yet unknown. Unknown, unknown. Tak siapa yang tahu. Tidak diketahui. Kalau non, kita ketahui. Second step is information gathering. We must uh, gather all information. Something that sometimes uh, so many information, but must be selective related to the problem. So possible solution incubate in individual mind. Okay. Maybe they use the uh, brainstorming, brainstorming uh, to get the information or based on report, based on report, or for example, complaint uh, based on report, yeah. or suggestion. Based on the ideas, ideas come up from the uh, somebody, okay? or suggestion from the uh, committee, okay? that we 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 uh, get the uh, real problem already. Number three, idea generation, start develop possible solution uh, from relevant information and knowledge. Uh, that is our duty. Yeah, start start uh, develop possible solution we track our head because of we try to solve the problem for example uh, if in quality management they use uh, uh, fish bone fish bone eh? fish bone is tulang ikan tulang ikan oleh uh, ishikawa ishikawa um, one of the uh, proponent of the theory uh, cause and effect in japanese Tulang ikan, dia kepala ikan, baru tulang ikan. Jadi tulang ikan tu besar besar. Sama ada uh, performan itu sebab kurang latihan, ataupun mesin, ataupun kurang reward, ataupun salah pemilihan, uh, gitu. Maknanya mesin uh, reward system ataupun cara kerja, ataupun faktor-faktor lain. Uh, jadi dia identify beberapa uh, batu masalah uh, masalah besar yeah. then uh, from there we go to the uh, idea evaluation jadi pemilihan uh, potential solution and define the best the best one which one the best one uh, mungkin dia dalam banyak-banyak tu dipilih dua saja uh, solution one and solution two solution one solution two uh, kalau solution one one is the characteristic there, what is potential? Decision two, uh, what is the uh, potential there? What is the uh, uh, weaknesses here? Uh, bukan dia banyak-banyak tu diletakkan, tak boleh lah. Nanti uh, susah untuk uh, membuat keputusan. Okay, next. The cost uh, of creative behavior. The cost of creative behavior come from intelligence. Intelligent. Eh? This intelligent is the uh, uh, normally gifted, gifted from the God, eh? uh, the Tuhan. Eh? Uh, intelligent, IQ, eh? intelligent quotient. Kalau pelajar universiti ni, kalau bolehnya, dia punya skornya 120, 120, 120 ke atas. Uh, dia kira IQ ni, bila buat IQ test, eh? IQ nya tinggi. Jadi kalau dah bawah 100 tu, itu bukan uh, mahasiswa lah. Atau mahasiswi ya. Yeah. Intelligent. Intelligent. Kemudian personality. Good personality biasa. Eh. Personality. Personality ni apa yang kita nampak. Dan eh. expertise. Expertise from the uh, kemahiran dia orang. Kemahiran. Eh, kemahiran. And then number four is ethics. Uh, ethics ini uh, kalau dalam agama Islam dikata akhlak. Ethics ni uh, where they 
follow a rule and regulation uh, covered by a rule and regulation and creative environment creative environment where they covered they in the uh, environment of motivation a good motivation yeah? and a reward and recognition uh, they will get reward and recognition dapat ganjaran dapat gaji dapat bonus dan dapat pengiktirafan eh? uh, recognition pujian pujian also eh? okay next the creative outcome uh, creative outcome is idea or solution just to be novel and useful by relevant stakeholders okay. jadi idea or solution ni akan dilihat oleh uh, third party ataupun relevant stakeholders dan uh, pihak uh, atasan ataupun uh, pemegang taruh atau pemegang saham next implication for managers uh, in the chapters eh? implication for managers the behavior follow perception Behavior follows perception, so to influence employee behavior at work, access how employee perceive their work. Uh, this is a uh, benefit to the uh, managers where uh, they, can, they can use the perception to the, uh, to the uh, control their subordinate. Okay? Uh, make better decision by recognizing perceptual bias and decision making error when tend to commit. Okay? Then number three, just your decision-making approach uh, to the national culture you are operating in and the criteria your organization value. Number four, combine rational analysis without intuition. Uh, the day more using more rational analysis, not use intuition, because of intuition not uh, all not always correct. You know, but rational analysis is the correct. Okay. Or in business. They must use the uh, analysis, the financial analysis, uh, business analysis, uh, statistical analysis. Uh, uh, that you consider rational logic. Eh? Uh, try to enhance uh, your creativity. Eh? The, 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 the manager will be trying to enhance creativity uh, with the giving bonus, giving recognition. Okay, next. So, uh, just always look into the function of the audience in order to track you towards uh, formulating an answer. Okay. Uh, try to enhance creativity. Next. Uh, that is the, the all of the chapter five. Chapter five. And then try to the uh, chapter six. Just now. So in short, think about All right. Wait, I will download first. Think about You also think about something uh, meeting socially. Now, meeting socially, some of us we enjoy uh, input into leadership roles, but some of us are quite happy followers. Okay. Now, if you are someone who has great interest in being part of the so-called okay. and you like to come to so? uh, the Apakah sudah terlihat, teman-teman? So, that may be one of the reasons that Sudah terlihat, Miss. Okay. You are fulfilling your social needs. Yes. Okay. So, that is the second example. And for job I want you to take Okay. Uh, chapter 6 is valuing diversity. Valuing diversity. Yeah. After uh, finish this uh, lecture, uh, shouldn't be able to demonstrate how workplace discrimination and undermine organization effectiveness. Ada berlaku diskriminasi. Diskriminasi di tempat kerja. And explain how through type function in organization setting. Bagaimana fungsi stereotype, stereotype tadi, yeah? general, general labeling, stereotyping. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. 
Number three, describe how bio, biographical characteristics are relevant to OB, organization behavior. Number four, explain how other differentiating characteristic factor into OB. Number five, demonstrate relevant intellectual and physical ability to OB. And number six, describe how organization manage diversity effectively. And there are six, uh, six major, major uh, topic. Next. Uh, this is a situation demographic and the uh, United States workforce. Eh? Uh, but now, uh, all over the world uh, look like similar uh, because of uh, many uh, multi multinational company uh, exist in the uh, uh, many country and eh? many country. So the workforce is more ethnically and racially diverse. There are uh, multi uh, races people in the organization now uh, because of uh, in our country have the uh, multinational company from the uh, South Korea, Japan, uh, from the America, from the uh, Germany. Yeah? Uh, so, so they they have uh, their own uh, manager, uh, and we have the uh, as a host country, we have the uh, workers uh, from our country, and then have the. Uh, uh, culture, our culture and our uh, practice our culture and then we work together with them uh, we, will, we will see uh, our diversity in organization organization okay. um, today workforce include more women and older workers yes before this uh, at early uh, civilization only men uh, going to work, uh, uh, women stay at home. But now, uh, this is uh, uh, maybe asking by the woman leap, uh, woman liberation. They have equality between men and men. Uh, they have a right. A woman have right also uh, going to work and hold a higher position. Uh, more women and all all holder also or all. all uh, all workers also, they still in the uh, uh, organization because of their skill still needed by the organization. Yeah. And then uh, has a smaller gap, has a smaller gap between white and other racial and ethnic groups. Ethnic group. That is uh, uh, that is uh, now become closer. The smaller gap uh, become closer because of uh, every uh, ethnic uh, will have chance to get a similar wages or similar salary. Okay. Next level of diversity, surface level diversity, difference in age, uh, race, gender, uh, uh, umur, bangsa, uh, then uh, gender. Uh, Lucky from panel, less significant over time, right? and then deeply level diversity, deeply deep level diversity, different in personality and value, more important to long run. Uh, that is uh, much managed by the uh, human resource international human resource manager uh, because of their subordinate, their expatriate. Uh, must be uh, streamlined. Must be uh, give training uh, to the uh, to the max. The diversity uh, become less. Uh, the, the differences between them become less. Okay. Okay. Next. Uh, this is uh, what happening. Uh, always organization discrimination. Type of discrimination. Uh, there are several types of discrimination, discriminatory, discriminatory policies and practice, sexual harassment. This always happens in organization. Intimidation, uh, mockery and insult, uh, exclusion and uh, incivility. 
uh, discriminatory policy or practice differentiated action taken by representative of the organization that deny equal opportunity to perform or unequal reward performance uh, that is always uh, become the problem uh, in 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 uh, organization uh, example from organization all the workers may be targeted for the layoff akan diberhentikan pekerja-pekerja yang berumur senior akan diberhentikan because of the high paid and have lucrative benefit oh, yang yang lama-lama ni dia gajinya besar dan gaji dia besar dan uh, apa itu uh, perlu di layoff begitu ya. Eh? Ini berlaku diskriminasi yang dia tangkap. Yang kedua, sexual harassment. Uh, definition of unwanted sexual advance, advance and other verbal or physical conduct of the sexual nature and create a hostile, offensive work environment. Uh, ini biasa ya. Eh? Uh, example from organization says uh, people at one company went on company paid visit uh, to the strip club, strip club, brought uh, strippers into the office into celebrate promotion and posted purposive sexual rumors, rumors, sexual harassment, gangguan, gangguan sexual di belakang antara uh, bos dengan pekerja bawahan antara pekerja dengan pekerja itu, itu biasa tapi banyak berlaku antara bos dengan pekerja bawahan bos lelaki pekerja bawahan uh, perempuan biasa berlaku uh, intimid intimidation is uh, overt threat or bullying directed member specific group of employee uh, african american employee at the same company have found uh, nurses hanging hanging over their work station and they tak boleh tak boleh uh, bekerja sama uh, mockery insult a joke or negative stereotype sometimes result joke taken too far gurau gurau yang melibatkan soal soal pribadi yang agak agak uh, tidak baik eh? seperti Arab American have been asked at work whether they are carrying bomb or uh, where member of terrorist organization they can tell the mock bomb ke ah eh but dia tahu yang teroris uh, berlaku uh, ledakan uh, bangunan uh, di Amerika tu itu 911 itu uh, dikatakan teroris daripada Arab exclusion exclusion of the certain people from job opportunities, uh, social event, discussion, or informal mentoring, and occur unintentionally. And, uh, certain people from job opportunities, social event, discussion, or uh, informal mentoring can occur. Misalnya, many women in finance claim they are assigned to man marginal job role or are given life workload that don't lead to the promotion yes, uh, in civility uh, disrespectful treatment uh, back go back go back well, sorry sorry wait uh we have trouble here i will to start again okay all right okay uh, uh, okay uh, this is res uh, the respectful treatment, including behavior and uh, aggressiveness manner, interrupting the person or ignoring his uh, or her opinion. Eh? Uh, example, female lawyer not that male attorney frequently cut them off or not ridiculously uh, address these uh, comments. Uh, uh, jadi, inilah uh, discrimination, discrimination yang berlaku. Jadi kalau sexual harassment, kalau harassment tadi bukan sexual saja harassment dari segi agama, harassment dari segi bangsa, apa berlaku juga, eh? bangsa, eh? agama, bangsa. Okay, next. Okay, biographi biographical characteristic. Eh? Biographical characteristic. Uh, 
um, include age, gender, race, ethnicity, disability, length of service. Ah, uh, any bio, bio, biography, ah, uh, pekerja pekerja biasanya diambil begini. Ya. Length of service, ataupun education, education. Um, next level of education. Okay, age. Next, age. Relationship between age and performance is important because the workforce is aging. Ada yang mengatakan lagi lagi berumur tu kerja tu lagi kurang uh, prestasinya. Prestasinya. Oh, itu tidak betul. Eh? Sebab dia lagi pengalaman. Eh? Mandatory retirement uh, is on law. Out law. Dia, dia tak boleh lah di, di Malaysia ini uh, umur besar adalah 60. Di Indonesia berapa umur besar? Susna berapa? Susna boleh jawab. Di Indonesia umur besar berapa? Umur untuk apa? Umur besar. Umur pensiun. Umur pensiun. Oh, umur pensiun about around 60. 60 uh, ah yeah. kurang sama. Tapi di uh, di uh, kerajaan saja kan. Dengan dengan government saja kan 60. Yeah. Tapi di uh, di private sector uh, they will allow allow them to serve until uh, 75. In Malaysia allow until 75. Uh, that is the uh, very lucky ya. Yeah. Indonesia boleh gitu sampai 75 di private sector okay next next gender do women perform as well a job as men adakah uh, perempuan ini uh, bekerja Uh, baik dengan baik sama dengan lelaki uh, of course eh? but a few is any important differences but women in male domain are perceived are less likable or more hostile and less desirable supervisors uh, that is consider this uh, they, they underrate them eh? women are less likely to be assigned challenging position women are less assigned challenging position that's why they call have the uh, they call have the uh, uh, glass ceiling you know glass ceiling glass ceiling is where environment there is no clear uh, rule and regulation they cannot uh, they cannot move up they cannot uh, get getting promotion huh? but they have the certain uh, rule and regulation not written they don't don't have written regulation and that is the they call glass ceiling glass ceiling glass ceiling maknanya glass itu da, macam uh, uh, di ceiling itu dalam bentuk glass jadi mereka tidak boleh nampak ha? uh, tapi ada 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 halangan ada obstacle di situ uh, women often earn less than men in the same position uh, now this no now this is uh, equal okay next Next, race and ethnicity research show that individuals likely favor click of their own race in performance evaluation promotion decision in pay phrase rush. Uh, this is some uh, some organization or some country. Yes, they will uh, give the special treatment. Uh, they give the special treatment to their their race only and uh, for their friend. Racial ethnic minority report higher level of discrimination in workplace uh, still practice still happen in the organization. African American tend to be worse than than white in employing decision. Yes, American. And then some industry are less racially diverse. Some industry less racially diverse. Uh, connect disability american with disability act this is uh, uh, the act eh, covered uh, disability eh, for the ability per person eh, disability person oh, next other different differentiating characteristic religions 
religions, uh, sexual orientation, gender identity, and uh, culture identity. Yeah. Next. Ability and individual current capacity to perform the various tasks in job. Uh, the ability uh, that is depend on the individual. Uh, an individual current capacity to perform the various type of job. Uh, they have two type of uh, ability, intellectual ability. Ability needed to perform mental activity, general mental ability, general factors of intelligence. How intelligent they are. Okay, and physical abilities, the capacity to do tasks that require stamina and uh, dexterity and strength, stress. Uh, yeah, the fitness, the fitness, uh, the ability. Next. Uh, this intellectual ability, uh, uh, the mention is number of attitude, description ability to speedy and accurate arithmetic, the more on the mathematics and uh, mathematics. So, job example is uh, accountant, computing and sales tax on the set time. Verbal comprehension, comprehension uh, description ability to understand what is read or uh, hear or heard, uh, and the relationship the word to each other. Uh, the plan manager, uh, following corporate policy of hiring, perceptual speed, ability to identify visual similarities and differences quickly and accurately. The fire investigator, the fire clue support the uh, charge of arson. Uh, inductive reasoning, ability to identify a logic sequence of the problem and then solve the problem. Uh, that is a job example, market researcher, forecasting demand for the uh, product in the next time period. And the next, deductive reasoning, the ability to use logic, yeah, logic reasoning, yeah, logic and access the implication uh, of the argument. The job example is provided uh, choosing between two different suggestions offered by the employee. Uh, dimension, next, yeah, the dimension is, is partial visualization, ability to imagine how an object would look in position in space were, cha were charged or were changed. Uh, the job is an interior decorator, uh, decorating an office. Memory. Uh, description ability to retain and recall past experience, memorize eh? to such person remembering the name of the customer. Okay, next. Next, uh, physically ability eh? that is clear, strength factor, and dynamic strength, strong strength, static strength, uh, explosive strength. Eh? Uh, the dynamic strength ability to exert muscular muscular force repeatedly or continuously over the time. Yeah, important physical muscular and eh? trunk strength ability to exert muscular strength using the trunk, particular abdominal muscles. Eh? Uh, statical static strength ability to exert force against external object. Explosive strength ability to expand energy in one series of explosive acts. Eh? Flexibility factors, extend, extend uh, flexibility, ability to move the trunk and back muscle as far as possible. Dynamic flexible, ability to make rapid, repeated flexi movement. Other factors, uh, body coordination, ability to coordinate, stability action, different part of the body. Balance, ability to maintain equilibrium with, uh, despite forces pulling of the balance. And last, stamina, ability to continue maximum effort requiring prolonged effort over time. This is physical ability. But more this physical ability more on the lower uh, level of the uh, job, lower level job. Uh, for the high level position, uh, they don't need the uh, the uh, physic more physical strength. They need only the fitness of their body and also uh, the uh, yeah, uh, we call it uh, uh, level of the uh, thinking, level of thinking, just enough. Eh? Yeah, intelligent, intelligent. Next, implementing diversity management strategy uh, under the diversity management make everyone more aware of and sensitive to need and differences uh, of others. Eh? 
uh, because of uh, uh, everyone uh, needed in the organization. The diversity is chance for them to equip all this uh, lacking, eh? lacking in organization. Uh, they have for for those have the more knowledge, more um, skill will cover for the people who lack uh, knowledge and skill and uh, make everyone more aware. Uh, sensitive make differences other than. Um, actually, diversity management trying to the uh, take care or try to reduce diversity among them. Okay, thanks. Attracting, selecting, developing, and retaining diverse employee target uh, underrepresented group. Uh, target underrepresented group that means they have the uh, faster right? then uh, pick up. Uh, somebody as the uh, leaders and to communicate ensure that hiring and promotion is a bias free there is no bias bias not according to race not according to religion uh, develop a positive diversity climate uh, workers prefer organization that value uh, diversity value diversity and uh, workers prefer organization that value but that means they need to uh, learn from others also, then yeah, from others, uh, different culture, different uh, religions, yeah, different language. Okay, next. Diversity in group, diversity can both help and hurt team performance. Uh, when the the compo composition of the group uh, from the several uh, different background, uh, theory, theory, diversity can both have uh, can can hurt the team, but normally. Uh, they depend on the uh, leaders of the group if they can control the ability of leader to control that be very good uh, they can they can they can help uh, to the performance uh, the performance of the group okay. leverage differences from the superior performance uh, a positive uh, diversity climate should be uh, the goal uh, positive diversity climate uh, to use the uh, the diversity to the uh, make the very good uh, climate in the organization. Next, effect diversity program. Teach manager about the legal framework from the equal employment opportunity and encourage fair treatment of the people, all people, regardless of their demographic ethnicity. Uh, that is the uh, the uh, very good uh, program uh, in organization. Uh, to teach manager about legal framework for equal employment opportunity, encourage fair treatment. And then secondly, teach manager how to diverse workforce will be better able to serve and diverse group for customer client because a client also is diverse uh, from the uh, different background, different culture, different races, different religious. So, um, must teach managers. Eh? Then number three, foster personal development practices uh, that bring out skill and ability for all workers. Everybody can learn from others. You can learn, or can learn from others. Eh? That is the good eh? in the program of the effective, uh, effective university program. They have the program continuously. Next, application for managers. Uh, for managers understand your organization uh, anti-discrimination policy thoroughly and share uh, them with your employee uh, um, this is uh, very good for the uh, uh, managers uh, to understand uh, what is the uh, policy must be established uh, uh, surely this anti-discrimination policy uh, to make the uh, equality, uh, equality or equality treatment among, among the employees. And then to access the challenge, your true type belief to increase your objectivity. Okay? Assess and challenge your true type belief and increase your, your objectivity. Okay? Look, look beyond observable biographical characteristics and consider the individual capability before making management decision that means uh, must look beyond uh, beyond the biographical characteristics but because we must look at the 
the individual capability, individual uh, skill, uh, not only uh, biographical. Uh, in 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 when when they, the manager making decision making, uh, make decision making. Uh, if they only observe the biographical biographical characteristic, there will be uh, produce bias bias in the uh, organization. And then uh, fully evaluate what accommodation in person uh, with disability uh, need then the kind to job person ability. This in organization for the uh, employee uh, from the uh, disability. Yeah? Uh, there are law uh, must be followed uh, to respect the uh, disability employee. Okay, must uh, give the special treatment uh, to them. And six, uh, to understand the respect and the unique biographical characteristic in your employee, but be fair, uh, be fair, but individualistic. Eh? Uh, so don't, uh, uh, the, the unique, we must respect the unique of biographical characteristic, but uh, we don't uh, misuse of the uh, uh, biographical characteristic. To, to give the uh, treatment for uh, our subordinate. Okay, next. Ah, that's all. That's all for two chapters. Eh? Two chapters for today. So we open to the uh, question. If you have a question. Okay. So next is about. Uh, this is uh, a question. little bit difficult to understand because of uh, more in the uh, psychology concept and eh? psychology concept. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's really uh, interesting, but really difficult to understand, of ah, course, yeah, <laughs> because it's not our main uh, material subject. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> material subject, but uh, needed in the uh, organizational behavior because of. Without understand the, uh, the the several concept, uh, we will uh, not uh, understand uh, uh, properly in the uh, subject of organizational behavior. Uh, because of uh, organizational behavior is the, the, the huge, the wide subject. You know, cover all, cover all, cover communication, cover management, cover psychology, yeah, cover law. You know, because of uh, normally. Uh, uh, organization uh, have the so many uh, different background of of uh, employee, uh, and that's why they they, they they mention about diversity, diversity because of uh, so many uh, multinational company uh, in our country now, uh, and then the benefit of the multinational company, uh, the uh, host country, the host country employee can uh, transfer to the other country to other country not only to the uh, sq sq of the company but other places other places that is a very good chance to uh, to our our people in our country um, the uh, getting promotion and uh, visit other country you know that is good that's why the training Training for the uh, diversity uh, to uh, to bridging the gap among the uh, diverse uh, background is very important. Very mm -hmm. important. Kalau kita di Malaysia dan Indonesia tak apa lagi sebab budaya satu rumpun. Tapi kalau macam di negara lain, uh, tak boleh. Uh, kita tak faham budaya mereka. For example, in in China, Republic People of China. Um, when they have break, eh? break uh, one o'clock to two o'clock, they don't get rest or they don't go to the uh, cafeteria or canteen to eat, no, to, to getting lunch, eh? to get their lunch. What they did, eh? what they did, they go to, to sleep. They go to sleep. Why they go to sleep? They need more energy. More energy working after two o'clock. Mm. Uh, different from our people, the uh, the uh, break time, eh? they go to somewhere. Sometimes they go to shopping. Sometimes they go to eating. Sometimes they go to play bowling. Sometimes they go to the singing. You know, uh, that is uh, they wasting time. Then they 
they need energy after that. After 2 o'clock, they, they uh, don't have energy to continue their works. Uh, then this is a very bad culture between uh, our culture and uh, China Republic China uh, workers' culture. Uh, that is different. Okay, any question okay. open to everybody? All right, any question about this uh, topic? It's really interesting. It's about perceptual, ya. Yeah? Persepsi, teman-teman. Ini memang agak uh, sulit ya untuk memahami, tapi di dalam manajemen sumber daya manusia maupun perilaku organisasional ini sangat uh, terhubung ya, karena kita berhubungan dengan manusia. <laughs> manusia itu memang sulit, uh, complicated, and complex, of course. Jadi silakan ada yang mau bertanya, silakan raise hand. All right, we have question on the chat, Prof. From Putri Desti Anawati. Izin bertanya, bagaimana jika terjadi pelecehan seksual dalam sebuah organisasi, lalu korban ingin sekali melaporkan pelaku, tetapi diancam oleh pelaku? Apa yang sebaiknya dilakukan oleh korban? Terima kasih. Ah, ini biasa ya, biasa diancam. Tetapi um, harus diingat kalau kalau tidak dilapor, cannot be reported, they will continue. And then the uh, uh, may be uh, produce another victim. So we must stop. We must stop this uh, this behavior. If we have this behavior, and then see uh, uh, people, si pelaku, people must be punished. Be punished because are very clear they did the wrongdoing, wrongdoing, yeah? they manipulate. Yeah? So, uh, number one, uh, the action is the to protect us, yeah? to protect us, uh, consult the immediate boss, the immediate boss. Don't don't direct go to the uh, make the police report in case they have a uh, contact or report to the immediate boss. Uh, the immediate boss will be will be uh, uh, meeting with you and you make the uh, written report. You don't you don't make the uh, verbal report, written report. Huh? When the place, what what happened, what happened to you, the 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 the, 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 the prestige itu kena dilapor, dilapor. Eh? And then this is stage one. If the uh, higher uh, immediate boss cannot do action, you need you need action. You cannot do action. You in dangerous. In you in da dangerous because of there's no action. <laughs> And then, si pelaku akan ulang lagi. Eh? Uh, that time, you must refer to your association of work. Kalau ada apa ini persatuan pekerja, association. Kalau tak ada, kita lapor kepada polisi saja. Ke polisi saja. Eh? Itu penting lapor polisi. No, because of, there are, there are rule and regulation uh, yang 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 boleh hukum si pelaku. So don't worry, hukum si pelaku. Dan dan uh, tindakan tertentu domestic inquiry dia akan buat. Uh, kalau di, tidak dilakukan laporan itu, dia akan berlaku lagi kepada si mangsa, si victim, ataupun dia akan buat kepada yang lain. Ini normal. Biasanya yang kena ini adalah uh, yang perempuan, uh, the, 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 the female worker yang cantik, uh, yang cantik. Sebab itu makanya pergi kantor jangan tak cantik. Uh, pakai bedak sejuk itu teruk buka tak cantik kan. <laughs> Tapi kadang-kadang dia punya appearance, penampilan itu pun kadang-kadang menggoda, menggoda cara pakaian cara berjalan semualah hari itu harus berhati-hatilah berhati-hati eh? so ada langkah-langkah uh, tertentu yang perlu diambil misalnya jangan uh, di uh, dipersetujui kalau diajak uh, ke mana-mana berdua ataupun kerja ekstra lepas office hours uh, ataupun yang lain-lain lah 
Ah itu itu satu cara mereka untuk uh, melakukan perkara yang baik itu. Baik itu ya. Okey. Okey. Terserahkan question from uh, Galuh Inggit Romianto. Uh, the question about how we can uh, minimize the different perception between one member to another member in organization. Yeah. The, uh, the, the differences of perception because of uh, we don't have the similarity perception. Similarity perception. Yes. We must manage. Kita kena urus uh, perbezaan persepsi ini. Perbezaan persepsi ini. Okay. Uh, kerana perbezaan persepsi ini akan memberi satu gambaran yang uh, agak buruk tentang seseorang atau sesuatu keadaan. Uh, kalau sesuatu keadaan, kita kena uh, dapatkan penjelasan to make the explanation from the uh, other party Uh, pihak yang teratas uh, apakah persepsi sebenar apakah yang kata sebenar ni nah, tapi kalau um, perbezaan antara individu itu uh, biasanya kita boleh 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 tanyakan kepada pihak yang ketiga kan uh, apa pula persepsi dia uh, sudah tentu persepsi dia menyebelahi kita ataupun menyebelahi pihak yang lain tadi uh, sama mudah sama mudah tapi jangan kita sudah berbeda persepsi tapi kita baralkan kita beritahu orang lain yang bukan-bukan sebab -bukan. persepsi ini sebenarnya uh, berbeza-beza different person different perception uh, perspektif pun berbeza juga ha uh, kita sama based on experience based on uh, our knowledge uh, itu membuatkan kita berbeza okey All right. Okay, the next question again from Rofia Maharani. What should we do if we got the negative stereotype because our job that caused by the differences about perception of uh, social and culture? Ah, that is a good question. Mm -hmm. That is normal. That is normal. We uh, stereotyping by people. Stereotyping by people. Look me. Look me. Eh. You look at me. My face. Eh. I have a uh, long hair. I have long hair. And uh, everywhere I go, uh, people don't know who I am. Ah, saya kalau keluar tidak memakai kartu ini lah. Kartu tak pakai. Jadi, they don't know. Uh, about our background, when we go to we go somewhere, somewhere, uh, the majority of people uh, have this similar character, similar character with uh, a group of people, and we join them, but we don't part of the members, uh, part of the members. For sure, they will still typing me similar with the group members. You know, but I different, I different. Uh, so we don't depend much more on uh, people so typing. That's why uh, if we uh, if we uh, uh, believe that so typing is true, that will kill us. Eh? We know who we are, so kita kena hati hati lah. Jangan, uh, jangan apa kita tidak rugi ya orang uh, di stereotyping kita kita tidak rugi. Uh, apabila mereka tahu siapa kita dan kita adalah salah dari pada segi stereotypingnya, uh, kita menang di situ. Kita menang di situ. Uh, jangan bila orang stereotyping kita kita ada rasa negatif, jadi marah, jadi tak menentu. Uh, kemudian bila kita iyakan yang stereotyping negatif itu, ah uh, kita akan melakukan satu lagi konsep yang kita confirm bahawa apa yang dia uh, so type kan itu adalah benar. Ah, itu kesalahan datang di mereka. Kesalahan datang di kita. Ah, eh? Lalunya orang yang so typing kita ni dia buat so typing sebab dia belum tahu perkara yang sebenarnya tentang diri kita, personality kita. Ah, itu sebenarnya. Okay. 
All right. The next question from Amanda Meisha Shabila. As a leader in an organization or company, how we can build or improve our intuition that related to decision making? Yeah. The uh, intuition, yeah. the intuition based mm -hmm. on the uh, experience. If you don't have experience, we don't we don't we cannot use intuition 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 ni berdasarkan daripada pengalaman pengalaman lepas eh? sebab itu yang ada yang kita fikir yang kita rasa ini yang sepatutnya kita buat tapi kalau tidak ada lagi kita tak boleh jadi sebab itu orang yang banyak pengalaman dia gunakan intuisi itu adalah benar saya ada seorang sahabat pakar otopsi dari Indonesia Otopsi ini pakar bedah bedah mayat, pakar bedah mayat tu uh, Namanya Profesor Joko Sukoharyono. Uh, apabila dia telah bedah mayat terlampau banyak, eh, terlampau banyak, dia sudah tahu, dia sudah tahu yang kematian sebab kematian ini sebab apa. Jadi dia don't need don't need do this this similar thing. Uh, dia buat tetapi dia tidak buat secara penuhnya. Dia operate kalau kepala eh. kalau kepala kecederaan di kepala dia tahu how bad dia dia injured. Apa sebab dia mati. Uh, dia punya brain pecah apa semua kan. So based on the previous information dia ada intuitive intuitive. So dia tidak melakukan kesalahan. Kalau dia buat juga kerjanya sia-sia sebab apa? Apa yang dia intuitif tu sama dengan apa yang dia buat perlakukan. Ah saya sangat respect dia lah, sangat respect dia sebab uh, sama dia buat sama. Ah, tetapi rakan-rakan uh, yang lain yang jealous dengan dia, kepakaran dia, uh, report lah, report tu di pihak kementerian, report kepada sesuatu, sesuatu badan yang dia buat kesilapan. Kita silap. Ya, tak silap. Jadi berdasarkan previous experience very important. That's why experienced people uh, always make the good decision making. Uh, the, uh, apa ni? If compare with the uh, people a lack of experience. Okay. Cari pengalaman banyak banyak. Hmm. All right. Okay. The next question. Is about atribusi ini dari Dian Ayu Astuti. Izin bertanya, jika ada suatu kasus seorang karyawan yang melakukan pekerjaannya tidak memuaskan, lalu bagaimana proses atribusi yang akan digunakan manajer personalia untuk membentuk penilaian terhadap kinerja karyawan tersebut? Uh, ya, yeah. sesuatu uh, penilaian terhadap kinerja ini, uh, dia sebenarnya sekarang ini dulu 180 degree 180 degree sekarang 360 degree jadi penilaian ya pertama di kalangan peers sahabat-sahabat dia di kalangan rakan-rakannya uh, dapatkan penilaian kedua daripada pihak atasannya uh, daripada immediate bossnya kemudian daripada uh, pelanggan atau orang lain, orang lain. Jadi digabungkan semua itu, gabungkan semua itu, termasuk dengan apa yang dia telah hasilkan, dia telah laporkan. Jadi 360 darjah itu eh, <coughs> sudah membuktikan uh, kesemua uh, pencapaiannya, <coughs> performance dia, dan apa kekurangan dia, kekurangan dia. Jadi dari situ, eh, immediate bossnya akan menentukan apakah koreksi yang patut dilakukan untuk buat improvement ha? sama ada kegagalan performance ini sebab latihan sebab coaching bimbingan sebab pendidikan ke pelajaran ke sebab mesin ke dia akan dia akan berikan huraianlah dia akan dia akan beritahu dengan pekerja itu kamu ada lemah ini sepatutnya kamu baiki dengan cara ini ha, begitu jangan dibiarkan Uh, perkara itu berlalu tanpa ada uh, cadangan koreksi uh, gitu. Okay, next question from Dini Dwi Lestari 
how the way we can avoid the anchoring bias ya cara menghindari anchoring bias karena terkadang the first information sangat efek kita sangat mempengaruhi kita dan lebih membuat kita percaya padahal belum tentu benar bagaimana caranya terima kasih an, an apa tadi an apa anchoring bias oh, anchoring bias, bias. Yeah. Bias. Yeah. bias itu biasa uh, kita kalau kita bekerja bos kita jangan percaya bulat-bulat uh, tentang satu maklumat kita pun kalau kita sebagai seorang uh, ketua atau sebagai seorang pekerja, uh, kita kena menyelidikilah uh, yang sebenarnya. Jangan percaya dengan satu sumber saja. Uh, kena banyak sumber. Misalnya, ya, uh, ada seorang mengadu, dia mengadu yang si polan ini itu, 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 itu. Orang lain tidak mengadu. Dia saja yang mengadu. Jadi, boleh kita ambil tindakan reciprocal, kita siasat orang yang mengadu ini. Yang mengadu ini sebenarnya yang menjadi yang ada masalah. Bukannya apa yang orang adu itu. Itu selalu berlaku. Jadi jangan jangan untuk untuk dapat keadilan, kita tanya orang lain pula. Jadi dia tidak anchor daripada satu sumber saja. Dia dapat daripada sumber-sumber yang lain. Itu berlaku adil. Jadi kita jangan sebelah pihak saja banyak pihak yang itu berlaku adil. Nah, bagus sebab seorang pemimpin nanti bila mati nanti akan ditanya bagaimana dia memimpin baik tak baik leader ini. Jadi kalau nak ikutkan orang yang bijak dia tak mau ambil, tak mau ambil tugas sebagai leader. Sebab leader ini amat berat, amat berat untuk dilaksanakan. Jadi kena adil. Okay. Okay. Next question. This is really interesting question. <laughs> uh, lately, we found a lot of vacation that looking for supervisor or manager, but the but only men. Only men who who get the the opportunity for this uh, vacancy. So the question is it uh, the effect of the stereotype from the society that leader much better uh, from the men? No, no that is not. Men. That is not stereotype. That's what I said is uh, a glass ceiling. <coughs> glass ceiling. Macam kita lihat di atas kita ya, di atas kepala kita ada ceiling, the ceiling. Tapi ceiling yang ada sekarang ni daripada asbestos, daripada apa tu batu. Tapi Shillingnya dalam bentuk gelas, bentuk gelas. Kita boleh go through, nampak. We see through up there. Tetapi kita tak perlu pergi. Ha, jadi ada satu barrier, ada satu halangan promotion untuk uh, wanita untuk pergi naik uh, pangkat lebih bagus. Walhal, uh, they have the all these talents, they all these abilities. Yeah? Talent and ability. That is the uh, wrong wing uh, made by the uh, manage, management or managerial uh, section. Uh, they must be uh, changed, lah. Must be changed. So the uh, the the action for for the uh, people uh, facing this problem. Number one, they see they meet the uh, higher authority or higher management, or they get another job. They get another job. Uh, Jangan tunggu lagi di sana, cari kerja lain. Itu cara dia. Yeah. Oke. Okay. Next question from UC Aprilia. I would like to ask, in the cause in the cause of creative behavior part, personality is one of the causes. Is there any type of personality that suit creative behavior, or do all personalities can suitable? Ini bicara tentang personalitas ini, Prof. Ya. Yeah. Uh -uh. uh, tak clear tadi yang introduction, soalan ya. Personality apa itu? Apakah uh, bagian dari uh, creativity behavior saja yang mempengaruhi atau seluruh personality itu bisa mempengaruhi uh, dari uh, dari yang menyebabkan kreativitas? Ya. Yeah. 
Ya, kreativitas ini, kreativitas ini satu uh, perkara yang boleh diasah. Diasah, dididik supaya kita menjadi kreatif. Menjadi kreatif. Eh? Uh, if we uh, don't use our 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 mind uh, to think, uh, dia akan menjadi uh, malas. Dia akan jadi malas. So, yang kreatif ni, Orang yang suka berfikir. Jadi jadi ubah uh, cara berfikir itu. Jadi berfikir itu nanti dia akan berpengaruhi personality lah. Cara berfikir itu. Pertama, don't think about the negative. Negative thing. Uh, if we think about the positive. So kita akan jadi uh, kreatif. Kalau kita fikir negatif, akhirnya satu benda pun tak jadi negative thinking banyak eh? akan berpengaruhi kita things positive kadang-kadang uh, kalau sesuatu benda yang tak baik pun berlaku kita fikir yang positif dia punya hidayah hikmahnya berlaku begitu eh? uh, jangan uh, bila kita ada masalah uh, kita kata Tuhan tidak tidak sayang pada kita tidak sebenarnya Tuhan sayang pada kita sebab itu ditimpakan masalah masalah eh? Pikiran, misi pikiran yang positif. Misalnya, ya, ada seorang uh, pemuda, setiap sembahyangnya, dia fikir dia mau kahwin dengan orang, dengan seorang doktor, dengan seorang perempuan cantik, dan kaya. Setiap kali dia berdoa, mesti doanya perempuan cantik, doktor, kaya. Setiap kali. Ya. Selepas bertahun-tahun, doanya belum makbul. Eh, belum makbul. Kemudian satu hari dia dikejar anjing. Dia pun lari. Anjing pun kejar dia. Jadi kalau jumpa anjing jangan lari. Berhenti. Ya, eh, Cusnu jumpa anjing jangan lari. Tunggu. Ha, jadi anjing akan berhenti. Sebab dia gigit anjing tadi dia dikejarkan ke rumah sakit. Bila kejar rumah sakit dia dirawat oleh seorang doktor oleh seorang doktor yang cantik dan kaya. Eh? Jadi, bayangkan, eh? itulah jodohnya. Itulah jodohnya. Kalau dia tidak dikejar anjing tadi, digigit anjing tadi, takkan bisa dia bertemu dengan apa yang dia doakan itu. Bukan? Ha, jadi, fikir positif. Ha, dia pernah berfikir negatif. Dia kata, Tuhan tidak, Tuhan tidak, terima doa. Bukan. Bukan dia nak terima. Tetapi dia memerlukan satu masa untuk kesabaran. Kesabaran dia baru dia boleh dapat. Jadi, itulah. Uh, mesti dia bersikap bersikap positif tu banyak. Jangan negatif. Nah, kalau kita dengan Tuhan, kita berdoa dapat. Berdoa dapat. Jadi kita tak perlu kerja. Dia perlu usaha. Eh? Sebab itu, doa doa juga eh, kalau dalam kata 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 mudah yang selalu saya katakan pada pelajar saya kita mau wang mau ongkos wang kalau di di Malaysia wang ini duit duit satu doa d d doa u u tu usaha i i ni istiqomah sentiasa buat dan t tawakal tiga nah, jadi empat jadi d u i t duit baru dapat duit kalau doa tak ada, usaha, istiqamah, tawakal, dapat duit. Duit, duit tak ada, tak ada bunyi duit. Ha, gitu. Kalau tawakal saja, tak ada doa, dua, tak ada usaha, tak ada istiqamah, dapat T saja, tak dapat duit. But negative, negative thinking ni biasanya uh, akan uh, akan membunuh kreativiti kita. Okay? Okay, alright. Next question from Bagus Adi Prayuga. Ijin bertanya, Prof, salah satu kerangka etis dalam pengambilan keputusan adalah utilia, utilitarianism, yakni berikan kebaikan terbesar untuk jumlah terbesar. Untuk contoh utilitarianism ini dalam perusahaan seperti apa ya, Prof? Ah, dia satu peraturan yang uh, orang kata satu uh, peraturan yang menyuruh 
satu peraturan yang menyeluruh yang perlu uh, yang banyak diikuti oleh orang ya eh? oleh orang ya eh? relating to adhering uh, doktrin dia macam doktrin lah doktrin eh? uh, doktrin ni yang perlu kita kita ikut eh? the theory uh, morality dia theory morality dia which uh, action foster happiness oppose action uh, cause unhappiness eh? misalnya uh, dia akan apa tu uh, Uh, diikuti oleh semua orang oleh semua orang untuk kebaikan semua eh? kebaikan semua eh? misalnya eh? misalnya eh? uh, utilitarian example lah uh, apabila seorang decide eh? untuk uh, what to do for themselves alone eh? uh, untuk dia sendiri eh? uh, they consider only their own utility for example Uh, if you choose ice cream for yourself, utilitarian view that you should choose the flavor that will give you the most pleasure. Uh, pilihan kita tu pilihan kita sendiri. Huh? Uh, pilihan kita sendiri bukan dipengaruhi oleh orang lain. Huh? Orang lain. Jadi uh, dalam konsep lain, um, utilitarian ni adalah uh, uh, common sensical ataupun uh, functional sensible dia punya maknanya eh? jadi uh, dia adalah uh, suatu term uh, yang yang menilai tindakan kita uh, untuk sesuatu consequences atau outcome outcome eh? jadi uh, yang diikuti ramai oleh semua orang lah semua orang eh? uh, kalau di tempat kerja tu uh, biasanya uh, praktis uh, uh, harga eh? uh, having tiered pricing harga, harga berbeza-beza eh? uh, untuk uh, perkhidmatan yang uh, berbeza-beza eh? jadi dalam industri penerbangan katakan eh, penerbangan uh, dia ada first class dia ada second class uh, dia ada ekonomi ekonomi eh? jadi ada pilihan ikut kemampuan lah ikut kemampuan eh? Jadi ini satu teori yang tidak memaksa seseorang untuk uh, mengikut hanya satu kendak saja, kendak saja. Jadi dia boleh uh, ada pilihan berbagai-bagai, berbagai. Okay? Jadi uh, dalam uh, utilitarian ini uh, dia ada dua. Satu rule utilitarian, satu lagi act utilitarian. Tapi dua-duanya boleh Uh, orang kata untuk membahagiakan manusia lah, manusia lah. jadi mengurangkan risiko, mengurangkan risiko. Okay. Jadi bagus juga yang bertanya tu, maknanya dia sudah sampai pemahamannya kata harap yang amat tinggi, ya. uh, utilitarian apa semua ya, uh, bagus. Ada yang suka, ada yang ada yang uh, cepat pick upnya, bagus. Ya. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, the next question is about like and dislike ini profesor. <laughs> like? Like and dislike. How uh -huh. if the leader uh, make a decision maker making decision but is basic from the like and dislike about the employee. Uh -huh. So this is make the perception from the employee uh -huh. will be different to the leader. <laughs> uh -huh. How about that? Okay, this like on this like name. This is uh, this is uh, uh, the uh, picture. The bosses, uh, the bosses have the not good uh, mental health. Mm. Not good mental health. You mm -hmm. number one, you must be fair. Number two, your subordinate have the all uh, talent. Eh? your performance based on your performance of your subordinate. Why you have practiced like and dislike? That means your, uh, I call it the uh, mental health is not good because of you, uh, apa ni, uh, cluster can people from uh, the, uh, the, to the different type. Eh? Uh, this is good, this is not good, this is very good. No, that's based on the evidence. It's based on evidence. You must be uh, perfect, uh, kalau based on evidence. But based on the perception, you are wrong. Because of everybody have the potential. You know, 
uh, that's just matter of the luck and time. Sometimes they they depend on luck. Sometimes they depend on the time. They take time to the uh, to show the performance of the, the work. You know, that's why you don't you don't uh, you don't uh, uh, use or practice or the uh, very bad mental mental health. I okay, you know okay. I okay, you okay. No, everybody is okay. Everybody is okay. Uh, you must uh, have the uh, uh, practice the good mental health. Kadang-kadang uh, dalam organisasi ini banyak orang gila. Banyak hmm. orang gila tidak betul. Dianggap dia saja bagus. Tapi dia lupa. Performance dia adalah performance contribute by the uh, subordinate. So they must groom the subordinate. Bila groom subordinate, dia depend on the performance of the subordinate. There is no time to the, uh, divide uh, like or dislike. No, good or not good. No, they must they must uh, groom everybody. Everybody is the best. Uh, itu bos yang baik. Eh? Daripada good. yang tak perform, dia akan make it perform. Itu bos good. yang baik. Macam education juga. Daripada tak faham, kepada faham. Berlaku transfer of learning. Itu. Uh, kalau pelatih nanti dia tengok uh, bagaimana yang dilatih itu boleh mengamalkan kemahiran itu ada transfer of training uh, jadi ini education katakan ini education kita kena demokrasi in office pun we must demokrasi everybody is a fair uh, sampai bila kalau kita uh, kita tak suka orang tu uh, mungkin juga orang tak suka kita Kesi proker balik ke situ. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's question from Dita. And Thanks. another question ah. is about uh, from Putri Ageng Larasati. Bagaimana cara mengkombinasi rational analysis dengan intuition yang baik? Bagi karyawan baru tentu saja hal tersebut sulit untuk dilakukan. Apakah ada cara untuk melatihnya? Terima kasih. Ah, dia melatih ini kena kena praktis lalu. Mm. Ah, macam training lah. Mm. We train to make perfect. Dia lakukan itu make perfect. Jadi kena amalkan selalu lah combination between the uh, apa tu uh, apa ni kata tadi dia punya intuition tu dengan uh, evidence total evidence total apa tadi dia kena gabungkan selalu uh, eh, kalau nak pilih satu saja tak mungkin kan jadi jadi kena gabungkan selalu jadi intuition tadi seperti kata must have the uh, experience more experience previously apa itu dalam dalam peng, penghakiman eh? penghakiman apa itu hakim dipanggil uh, yang arif Ya Arif, sebab pihak uh, apa ini pengacara ada bukti-buktinya, pendawa raya ada bukti-buktinya, eh? tetapi hakim itu bergantung kepada pendengaran itu. Uh, dia kadang-kadang daripada evidence itu dia ada kumpul, tapi daripada intuition dia pakai juga sebab pengalaman-pengalaman yang lepas. Sebab itu hakim tidak boleh disanggah hukumannya, decisionnya adalah tepat. Kalau tepat, kalau di Malaysia lah, kalau di Indonesia pun. Tetapi kalau di di Amerika, dia bias kepada uh, ratio. Maknanya orang yang berkulit hitam mendapat hukuman yang tidak setimpal atau pengadilan yang tidak betul. Ha, itu dah biasa. Setelah dari hukum baru buat rayuan, didapati mereka tidak besar. Kadang-kadang yang lebih uh, memeranjatkan, sudah mati, dihukum mati, sudah dihukum mati pun, sudah mati pun. Bila buat rayuan, hukuman itu tidak betul. Jadi decision making ini bukan satu benda yang mudah dibuat. Simply decision making, we must have the uh, from the different different aspect, different angle, different systematic uh, decision making lah nak buat. Eh? Kalau 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 dalam matematika kita ada decision tree. Keputusan uh, pokok di sentri kan, ha, kita buat di malam. Okay. Alright. Okay. Uh, actually, there's a lot of question, but we have a limited time. It's more than 15 question, Professor. Oh. 
<laughs> Jadi I'm so sorry for student who didn't get the ah. answer yet, okay. but I already uh, note. Uh, saya catat ya, I write your name and ah. then about the question okay, of. Okay, nanti course, masa so. depan boleh tanya lagi. Yeah. Ah. Yang yang dah bertanya ni. Masa depan jangan tanya bagi yang yang tak dapat bertanya. Iya, ya? betul, betul. Karena ini pertanyaannya banyak sekali, jadi saya bingung mau milih yang mana. Yeah. <laughs> like, just uh, the interesting question. All right, uh, thank you very much again yeah. for Professor Dato Nasir yeah. that give a time for us okay. uh, to give the lesson that's really amazing material. Okay. And we will meet again next week on okay. Monday. <laughs> Still okay. in the same okay. time. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. Okay. Have a nice Thank day. You very much. Bye bye. Okay. okay, for student, don't forget to fill the presentation. Yeah, don't forget to screenshot also. And we will meet again next week. And don't forget to make a resume about the material each meeting because it will be used for the midterm. Jadi jangan lupa ya untuk presensi dan kalian juga bikin catatan sendiri, review sendiri untuk setiap pertemuan karena ini nanti digunakan di dalam uh, tes uh, pertengahan semester nanti. Oke okay, teman-teman, baik dengan demikian uh, saya tutup untuk kelas ini. Kita ketemu lagi untuk uh, Senin mendatang. Jaga diri, jaga kesehatan. Jangan lupa, I love you. See you, dadah, goodbye. Bye guys, see you. All right, you may to close the, the Zoom after you got the presentation.